Kitty? Kitty? Well, here we are, up in our room, without our kitty. Kitty? We're the bittersweet gamers. Where's my kitty? I'm so weak to cats. What? And he's just gonna wait? Dude, go look for your cat! My gosh, I'm the opinionator! I'm way squared. He'll probably come in through the window or something. Anywho, let's find out what's next in store for us. Yay! Hey. Were you just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? Well, not only are you a cat, but you're a sentient cat, so I figured you knew how to handle yourself. Besides, we figured out where you had to be so that you weren't in danger, and I tried to go look for you, the game wouldn't let me, so it's not my fault. <laughs> Besides, if I tried to examine something, you don't let out that mournful... I wonder where Morgana is. So it's not like I wasn't concerned, okay? Well, I take it the Chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now. Dude, where, where were you? You can't underestimate <laughs> my intel gathering skills, you know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I was checking out the Chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. Young? Well, she's probably about the same age as you guys. At least her voice was pretty young sounding. Oh, and she had beautiful long hair too. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief and surprise, <laughs> you didn't know this, but she can hack into our chats too. Duh. Even if she can't take Medjet down directly, she might have some kind of lead on him. What a weird girl. Like, what kind of response is this? Right? The most unflappable. Just who is she? What? No, nobody's unflappable here. There was definitely lots of flappable going okay, on. Okay, okay. She did the frightening come out of nowhere and then, like, retreat. No, no, I meant he's unflappable. Oh, oh, no, you're right. Of course he's unflappable. He's the unflappable in this. Yes. He's the unflappable. Flapper. Shut up with your back mouth! <laughs> in any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjet. Okay. Let's meet up again tomorrow. Me saying that to you like that sounds really weird. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. Jiro, normally I text you when you're about to go to sleep. So... So does Morgana have a litter box? Does he feel weird about pooping in the litter box? Or does Morgana want to use a toilet? He may just go outside. I think we're thinking far too hard about this. Yeah, we probably don't need to discuss that. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Ah, I guess we are being completely and utterly honest now. Well, it's also different in the case of Futaba Sakura That's with true. Sai because he can be like, you know who this is and everything That's about true. her. That's true. Why, you know. Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? We helped someone who needed it. Not only that, which, I mean, and that was the most important part. I, I don't want to understate that. Yeah. But, huh, we may have special magical powers, but there's certain things that we need, like I've already been telling you, okay? And so, if we, we didn't have any way to get it. There was nothing we could do. We probably shouldn't give her any lip. That's right. Then how was Medjid... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. Ho, ho, ho. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> you have quite the wit. Very well, let's continue. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's probably recovered a bit now. That, that's true. We've yet to determine how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjid, seeing as they are unseen. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. I haven't got that far in the story yet. Just wait and I'll be able to tell you exactly what we did. <laughs> hmm. It seems she's starting to seriously listen to what I have to say. Which is the truth. Yeah. Um, she's less hostile now. It's more like, okay, Especially you since can what you said this. lined up with what she knows. Yeah. Sweet. Do we get an ability yet? Probably not. Probably won't get an ability until it's all the way up. All right. But hey, at least we get that Arcana boost. So I guess every time we talk to her outside of meeting a new confidant, 
Yeah. Like an optional one, you know? Yeah. Then we'll... It'll go up? Probably. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. Must be her original name. <laughs> what a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Yes. Well, we, there's a lot of stuff we don't know about about uh, Wakaba. And, I mean, original name, she never married, remember? That's true. So, I mean, her name was just Wakaba Ishiki. Huh. So I guess at that point, with Futaba, we'll have a permanent hideout and probably extra things we can do there, maybe? Well, I don't know if we can all fit in her bedroom, but yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Oh, you mean the house? In the old house. Wakaba's house. Oh. Okay, I gotcha. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. And I suppose Wakaba Ishiki was something like the original psychotic breakdown or, or mental shutdown. Yeah. Like when like especially her reaction, it seems to indicate that it's like that's where this all started. Yeah. Okay. I mean, especially considering Saya has been investigating this case for some time. That's true. Those those sorts of uh, ironies, I guess, would not be lost on her at all. And she's like complimenting him a bit. Yeah, of being... she is far less hostile. Time for the morning assembly. Oh, good. And that assembly had me bored to tears. And completely off screen! After all that, we didn't even get to see it? Well, it would have been boring. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. <laughs> you really should buy a couple more outfits. He only has like three outfits. <laughs> when you say buy, you do know that requires money, right? Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Well then, I'll start. The case of Alibaba, is that what we're still gonna call it? It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? To listen to you guys. Come <laughs> on now. I have no idea. <laughs> it's just like Boss said, she's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Meja. Okay, so it's entirely possible that the way that she found out about this stuff was actually through listening, or through bugging LeBlanc. She may have wanted to bug LeBlanc to listen to... Sojiro? To Sojiro. Okay, to that makes dad. sense. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. That might have been one of the reasons she was... She didn't know some of the stuff about the chat because she didn't have to go through the chat logs. She yeah, was able to find we, out this information. But we have seen her read some of the chat. Yeah, ever since she knew right. to target to target Jiro, who lives at LeBlanc. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Well, first you have to save her. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? And now I suppose we can find out more about... Oh, God. Huh? Is is this where Akechi is going to show up? <gasps> God, God what, I hope not. what a horrible place if he does. Oh, it's probably going to be the Medjed one. I hope. I really hope. That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. Funny that. Yeah, for reasons that we don't need to expound upon. You know, we've been theorizing that it's like the the quote unquote death of the shadow uh -huh. that uh, causes uh, that that causes the breakdowns. Um, we may find out more about the supposed dangers yeah. here. Yeah. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Undoubtedly. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? If that's not supernatural, then that must... That's mm -hmm. like major PTSD. Yeah. There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's uh -oh. hard to explain, 
but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Okay. Hmm. So, like, the distortions just sort of built and kept, like, growing and sort of spiraling out of control as she got older. Uh Uh-huh. And then it hit a certain point, and then, then, like, it caused memories to have an effect. I guess. Because, you know, normal people will not uh, will not experience hallucinations without some type of, like, external stimuli. Yeah, which trigger. Could, which could count PTSD, of course. Um, but the distortions, distorted desires, are something that are supernatural. Right. So so it would make sense that they would cause a supernatural effect. Or yeah, at least, that's true. Or at least would be believable. Yeah. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? I mean, in the end, it all just comes down to that. Her treasure, she doesn't... This is the first time we've come up on somebody who wants us to be there. She wants us to steal her heart. Yeah. So I suppose that means that... Well, okay, no, no, no. The Futaba in the real world wants that. Maybe Shadow Futaba does not. Like, like maybe she'll, she's going to be reflexively and irrationally defending herself. I gotcha, I gotcha. Man, I really wonder how that's going to work. <laughs> I'm really excited. Well, yeah. So do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. You still all gotta agree, that's the rules. If we heal Futaba's heart... It will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjed. I mean, even if there was nothing to do with Medjed at this point, it's like, how could any of you... How could you bear not having done it? It's so obviously a case of helping someone in trouble that only you can help. Yeah! I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died, too. Man, is this palace going to be, as we go on, like when we hit the distortion part, is it going to be like a walk through memory lane? This could be a really nasty place. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Because it's it's different. Because it's completely different. Why is that? I mean, there may not even be any enemies. Right. I mean... Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. I mean, we've already made a statement about how we thought Kawakami might have a palace because of similar reasons. Right. And we've already, like, sort of theorized on that, too. So it would just kind of be the same same basic theory. Right. It's like them talking about it here. It's not, like, mind-blowing because we've already been talking about it for some time. (laughs) There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like. Or the distortion that'll be there. Oh, hi, Phantom Thieves! Just come on right this way! (laughs) It's possible it could be that. Uh, I mean, it's not like the shadow and the real person have no connection. Right. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Seems like learning how something like this might go is a really important step for the Phantom Thieves, though I doubt we'll really have time to take on a lot of palaces right. that uh, don't involve something that's like a real threat. Uh, yeah, let's do it. No, I'm gonna say no now. Alright. <laughs> Just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? It is possible that this could end up being surprisingly the most dangerous palace we've been to yet. Yeah. Or the least. The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. So that's what her palace is, is Sakura-san's house. Or prison, perhaps? No, 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 Sojiro Sakura's house hit, so... We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. <laughs> yeah, he was able to easily forgive you last time and talk about it, but he might flip his freaking lid if we actually show up there. Right? Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? Ah, <sighs> Morgana, buddy, pal. We hope, but... I don't know. No. I'm sure I'll remember. Uh... I... definitely want this mission to succeed. I guess this one's a bit more personal for you, huh? Yeah. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. I I don't know if that's exactly working out how case, the <laughs> It's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. I don't think that's going to work exactly how you think it's going to work. 
Well, it wouldn't be completely unrelated. That's fair. You really do have a gift, don't you? Well, it's just that this part of Tokyo is full of ex of uh, <laughs> exceptional people. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? You sure live up to my expectations. I'm just that good. Interesting that we're leveling him up before the palace. Well, you know, obviously Morgana is going to have a lot to do with the plot. Mm -hmm. I suspect that towards the end of the game, we won't have Morgana around anymore. Ah. I mean, I that's that's that too is just speculation. Uh -huh. I'm really curious what other tools we can craft. But anyway, if that were the case, then getting Morgana's link up, yeah, kind of, yeah, kind of soon would make makes sense. perfect sense. I know. I wonder what we can hey, get. They went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. Hopefully those new tools will even be useful. Right? As it, as it stands, it's just lockpicks that we care about. Hmm. Now, the last keyword. She's a shut-in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. Okay, so if it's not prison, which, I mean, we've sort of dealt with a dungeon, you know, so right, we've already right. kind of had something like tower. that. Yeah, tower. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? Yeah. Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. Hmm. Maybe an oasis? On? No, no, no. That makes a lot of sense, because it could be that she doesn't actually view her house or as anything bad. It's maybe the only place ah, she currently feels safe. I see. This is good. <laughs> Nothing so far. In that case, how about hell? We don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can! Come on! Let's go see Futaba! I mean, we could always send in Morgana with a note. Excuse me, but how do you feel your room is... What do you feel your room is most closely related to? Well, the more she cooperates, wouldn't that mean that the more that her palace is going to cooperate and not be hostile? I suppose so. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. <gasps> you have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night because, you know, this place is so big you'd never be able to find it. Uh, hold on. What if we run into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions this time. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Parrot senses tingling. <laughs> <laughs> Getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. It's true that as thieves, we have yet to break into a house. <laughs> this is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in t contact with that guy. Perhaps hey. she'll at least be willing to speak with him. Okay. Very well, let's do this. I'm, what's wrong with a note? That's not stylish enough. I can accept that. <laughs> This is Futaba's room. Are you sure? <laughs> I, uh, I like the police tape. Yeah. Futaba-chan, you're in there, right? <gasps> There's no answer. He's probably sleeping. May well, that that is possible. Uh, something else it to do could be, we're not going to come in here, but if you help us, we'll get on with stealing your heart. Yeah. Futaba-chan... Are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. <laughs> she could be too afraid to talk to other people, even if she wants to. True, true. Because she knows who's talking to her. Right? Ah, this is going to be hard. Maybe she's at the toilet. Like in the bathroom. Shut up, Billy. walking down the hallway. <laughs> I've, I've got a great idea. Yeah? Jito should talk to her. He'll say... Yeah! <laughs> and that will be much less threatening. <laughs> You're listening. Right, Alibaba? I mean, we know it's you. There, see? Alibaba? Great. This is all we needed. Why are you here? 
Why is she only reacting to that name? Ah, so maybe the boss is going to be Alibaba. Oh, you're right. You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Has... Is there like some sort of disassociative personality thing going on? Maybe, maybe. Does she not like us saying her name? Well, she kind of hates herself. We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. We are doing what you want. We are here to facilitate that. Yeah. You have to cooperate. You get what you want out of it. Right? The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself and not Alibaba. I, I guess Alibaba is going to be Futaba's persona. Maybe. You don't have to show yourself. Just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Her palace is the Casbah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, then. Excellent. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. Is he cute? I mean, uh... <laughs> We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. Dude, you, you know what I look like. <laughs> what do you want to hear? How is living in this house? Well, I mean, I don't think one is going yeah. to work. We're going to have to go through all of them. And that... How is living in this house seems to be the best. Oh, I think what's this house to you is the best. Mm. But that's why I don't want to pick it yet. Okay. It's painful. Do you hate it? I don't. Looks like you should ask something different. <laughs> okay, I get it. I guess you nailed it, hit the nail on the head the first time. All right. Why? I don't know. Looks like you should ask something different. Looks like I should ask something different. It's painful. I already said that three times now. <laughs> Why don't you go out? I can't leave this place. I'm going to die here. Whoa. Uh, die? Hmm. Why does she think she's going to die? Is this going to continue? Why do you think that? Why? This place is my tomb! Oh, Boom! Oh my god! Tomb? Now it's time for some tomb raiding. We haven't done that yet, and that is another... I mean, that's not really gentleman Fifi, but... No, but, I mean, getting some Indiana Jones stuff yeah. on, that's another aspect of, of thiefing. We yeah, haven't yeah, yeah. Yet. But, man... That's awful. That is, this is going to be depressing, as, know. as we've heard. You think that's it? Match found. Try entering tomb. Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. We got it. I'm really looking forward to this palace, like really specifically, because this is probably going to be by far the coolest palace so far. Yeah. Or at least the most freaking depressing. <laughs> right? Was that enough? Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? I haven't. We made a deal. By the way... I feel kind of weird using this voice now that we know what we know, you know? Ah! By the way... If you want to try and, like, open up your heart and stuff, <laughs> that would really be convenient, but it, you probably can't. If you could do that, then right. this wouldn't be necessary. Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. Clickaloo! You idiot! Don't act Oh no! Here. It's gonna drag her in! <laughs> well, this is an interesting introduction for the character, huh? <laughs> oh! Sorry! <laughs> I mean, they can just take her right back out. What but... happens if a person goes into their own palace? <gasps> can you do that? That's a good question. It's a desert. Wow. Well, the tomb's gonna be underground. Are there gonna be like pyramids? Yeah, we see that. That would kind of fit the Alibaba motif. Yeah. Wait, what the? Our clothes are still the same. I, I, I hadn't even noticed that. Me either. Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as... Okay, so, so she's really... 
It isn't gonna, there isn't gonna be any resistance. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. My only question about this, Morgana, is how do you know that through experience? When have you been in a palace where the ruler did not see you as an enemy so that you were able to learn this? Well, by that token, why has he changed? Well... No, 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 no! If it applies to them, it should apply to him, too. That is his thief outfit, yes. I mean, it might just be because he's a special case. And there really isn't any point in thinking too hard into it. But if he were really a cat, and he appeared as a cat here, then that would prove that he's really a cat. Okay, that, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. But, so this, this proves that he's not a cat. Not that we'll admit that to him. <laughs> I mean, that's what I think, right? Right, right, that makes sense. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Because I'm an idiot! Well, maybe maybe if a person enters their own palace and encounters they own, their own shadow, they both are, like, erased from the space-time continuum. No, 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 no! <laughs> I mean, maybe, I don't know. Well, it's not back to the future, I guess. Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from I her. I guess since we're outside the door, we ah. have a long way to go yeah. to get to her palace. Luckily, we have a van. Hey, you're, I didn't even think of that. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kaneshiro's bank. Hey, these places are all totally different, but you'll see that. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Man, this is the first time that we're having to work hard to to locate. Well, well we it didn't see. take long to find Kaneshiro's palace. It just floated over on its own. Right. Here, though, it's like if we can't see it over the horizon, what are we going to have to do? Get like, digging. Get a telescope? Oh, no, you're, you're right. It's going to be underground. It's a freaking tomb. Is it that way? Oh, yeah. Oh. Something shiny. <laughs> or it's just gonna be like the city of gold or something. Well, yeah, it's a pyramid. Yeah. The tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Morgana, you have a job. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? No. Of course not. My paws will get burned. Okay, you can't complain about that. You're a cat. Cats come from the desert. Yeah, you're right. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> I love riding around in him. I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. No comment. <laughs> You're so considerate. Good kitty. <laughs> right. Y yes. All right. Let's roll. Uh, he's weak to being spoken to by On. Oh right, right. In fact, if On were to just tell him to do more things, he'd probably just be melting all <laughs> over. Road trip! This is really cool! <laughs> <laughs> and they've been gone long enough to fall asleep. It's stuffy. <laughs> yes, I know. Oh. But it still beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? Oh my. I drank it already. <laughs> I also like how it's Makoto in the driver's the seat. Guys? Yeah. Uh, oh. We're oh, eager. Oh. Yeah. Morons. <laughs> 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 the band aid. <laughs> That Yusuke was like, totally worth it. <laughs> he wasn't even directly looking. No, he was looking at Makoto. Oh, yeah. And Jiro was just blank facing it. Oh, my God. She is really isolated. <sighs> we don't have to do this every time we come here, do we? It's so hot. Well, if we find a safe room, we won't. 
Huh. But are there going to be safe rooms? Yeah. I mean, I guess there aren't going to be battles, so... Maybe? I don't know. The AC ain't working at all. What the hell was that lukewarm air about? <laughs> I ran out of gas. Or I can't turn it on very high. Or I haven't learned how to get it to work yet. Or... <laughs> best I could do, so quit your yapping. Better than nothing, I'm sure. If there are battles here, which I doubt, I think I'm gonna keep Morgana out. He's worked hard enough yeah. here. For real? You are so half-assed. Quit fighting the cat! Come on! What was that? You wanna fight, punk? I'll run you over. Jeez, shut up. <laughs> it's hot, so don't make me more irritated. Think her palace would be a pyramid. Even the unflappable Jito has become well flapped. Yeah. <laughs> hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, that, Ryuji. That's, that's why correct. I. That's why I kept chanting pyramid over yeah. and over. Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. So she'll be a pharaoh. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Huh? No, it's a tomb. Reviving the dead? Hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. <laughs> it's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Of oh god, the golden ratio! Of course Yusuke knows that off the top of his head. Right. Hey guys, can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. <laughs> Freaking hot! Come on, let's get inside. How can I dash? No, this is really fascinating. Can you use third eye? And I do have to change my party around. Yeah, okay, you can third eye at least. Can I jump? I. I don't know. I let's find out. Okay, at least we can do that. <laughs> that dinky little. Ugh. Oh, like, not as stylish now, huh? Okay. How interesting. Well, before we get to it, I did want to mention, uh, just on a hunch, you know, since this place is, uh, well, a desert, mm -hmm. I took out the guy who's weak to fire. <laughs> I'm not sure that we'll actually have to fight, of course. And thinking about it further, it's kind of a shame that I no longer have Isis, who nulls light and dark. Yeah, yeah. But... Neko Shogun nulls light and is strong against dark, so this may be, you know, good in the... May be good in the interest of caution. All right. So, side or stairs? Totally well, the side. Yeah, no? The let's see. Well, the stairs are obviously going to lead into the tomb. But we may not be able to go in that way. That's true. No, let's look the other way first. Yeah. <laughs> huh. What's that? Oh, uh, don't you, haven't you ever seen those? Uh, some pyramids have those on each corner. Okay, okay. And oh, there's yes. like a jar of Anubis. And no treasure, huh? Yahoo! Aw, oh, yeah. That was pretty awesome. I guess that is uh, intended to teach us about how that works. Uh, jars like that are generally what the pharaohs kept their mummified organs in. Much smaller, obviously. Yoo okay, you don't have any control over it. You just slide down. Got it. Okay, inside. Oh, yeah. Futaba's going to be a pharaoh, huh? What do pharaohs do in pyramids? Be dead? Yes. That's not good. It seems... Futaba's palace. So this is how she thinks of that house. Indeed. Who knows what may wait us within? What's your call, Joker? Should we head inside? Why am I asking this question? Why would you say no? Right? Oh, to prepare, I guess. Okay, we'll find out more about Futaba's secrets in here, right? Yes. Indeed. Well, let's head inside. Well, doesn't seem like it's much of a maze, eh? And for that matter, the music is uh, surprisingly... Cheerful? Relaxing? Whoa, it's so nice inside. Is this place air conditioned or something? Well, she's definitely comfortable in here. Yeah. And has everything she needs. It may be because Futaba's room is in reality has AC pumping through it. Either way, this is a relief. Huh, our clothes still haven't changed even now. This has never happened to us before. I'm disappointed! 
<laughs> it is refreshing that she doesn't see us as a threat, but we are completely surrounded by walls. I guess this is a tomb. It's probably not made to be easy to get into. Anyway, let's explore, such as it is. Right? No treasure. Let's see it. Okay. Is this just going to be like traps? If even that. It'd be kind of cool if there were puzzles or something, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Seeing him jump around like this in normal clothing is pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it really is. These stairs go pretty far. They're way too goddamn many. Don't ask for too much. You should be happy we're not getting attacked as we ascend. More importantly, I can totally sense the treasure ahead. We're getting pretty close now. Wow. After all, if there's no gameplay here and we're welcomed inside, <laughs> why would it even be far? Yeah, we don't even have to worry about a map. Or calling card or... Those stairs seem to be headed into the heart of the pyramid. Hey, do we have to worry about a calling card? No. Is there even going to be a boss? She wants us to take it. I wonder if that's where the treasure waits. Well, time to get climbing then. Let's go. What a long and complicated palace this has turned out to be. <laughs> Man, no enemies or nothing? I'm all for shit like this. I, I bet it'll be a bit more complicated than this. Do you think it's because she's not a criminal? She did welcome us in here after all. Don't let your guard down, guys. This is a pyramid, so there may still be traps. Oh no, when we get the treasure, we still have That's to escape. Beautiful. Yeah, we may get like really surprised at a certain point i wonder if there's even going to be a boss and speaking of huh there's someone there hey is this that's futaba's shadow it isn't the real her so what's she going to be like oh yeah you've seen her face true this one's kind of dressed like a queen so you're futaba sakura Yeah. That, what in the world are you wearing, honey? That makes sense. Hey, where's the treasure? Those big, bright eyes. Mm -hmm. Kind of frightened and frightening. It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something. Don't be like that. Even Shadow Futaba has difficulty talking. Yeah, she, there's other people around. She can't do anything about it, and she's not resisting. Yeah. I I still suspect that we're going to have to fight, but... I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay. There's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? <sighs> this is going nowhere. It's not even necessary, though, as far as I know. I mean, Morgana can smell it, right? Can sense it? <sighs> Let's just leave her. Or take her along if she'll go. But but those things, either either ignoring her or passing her or, or yeah. trying to take her along might be viewed as threatening. That's true, but we also... But there's more to it than just taking the treasure. We have to convince her shadow to go back, remember? Well, maybe we don't. I mean, there it, it's not something that's apparently really well thought out. There was kind of... Because we talked about this a lot yeah. with Kamesh, you know, and there was yeah. a lot of discussion in the comments about it. And I mean, there, you know, a lot of... like You guys were probably right about that. That it is just a natural progression of things. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those who plunder my tomb, why have you come? So she doesn't really know... But then why didn't she... Well, there's not them? always a connection between the real one and the shadow one. How, that can't be true, though. Kaneshiro is the only one who's shown any kind of knowledge about the other world. None of the other shadow ones did. That is true, but if that were completely the case, then she would already be hostile. Which I guess she's about to become hostile. I suppose. She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? The real Futaba does. Yeah. If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. 
Perhaps this is that Sundere <laughs> thing where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. I don't believe that's actually what this is, Yusuke. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. Hmm? Creepy child, you killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Oh, man. Murderer! Why don't you say something? Murderer? Maybe her family members. The reason, the reason that it's going to be hard to get in is because she, she's so shut away. Yeah, maybe those were her family members' voices. You're the one who killed it's her. It's your fault. This is horrible. Her family members, she had one family member, her mom. There wasn't anybody else. Otherwise, so who else why would, would she, be accusing why, her of it? The other other people we don't know yeah. all the details but it wouldn't be something like her family or she would have ended up with them instead of sakura or sojuno unless, unless like she had uncles or aunts who didn't want her i right no, no? i'm okay. pretty sure that there are going to be situations no all right we'll, we'll see i don't think that was family members hey the hell is this it's like she's going to assault us with her grief perhaps Something. Your fault, murderer! That's right. I did it. Says her distorted shadow. Right. Who really believes it. Mm -hmm. What? That, of course, is what we're here to stop. I am the one who killed my mother. I mean, it's it's going to be the, it was too hard, work, or too much work taking care of me and living her life by herself, so... And the thing is, is she's going to strongly believe that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God! What was that? My mother exists here. Oh, wow. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Okay, that's what she means by my mother exists here. Oh! Here we go. <laughs> Our clothes... She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Hmm? What if her mother, like, is the one that sees him as a threat, and because her mother exists there, that's what causes her palace to change and all that sort of stuff? That That is possible. We'll that have is... to defeat her mother, and then it'll turn into a treasure we can take, maybe? Uh, yeah, well, okay, her, her treasure is going to be her mother. Yeah. And so it... it like I, I almost said I hope it's not a mummy. I almost it might be. I almost said earlier that uh, her mother was going to be the boss. Yeah, yeah. But that it, that's the case. I don't think it's going to be Futaba herself. Right. Well, I mean, maybe. Hmm. So what's this? Because she knows what's going on. Yeah. This again. Because the distorted desires have turned her memories of her mother into a monster, maybe? That's why it's affecting her. It's bleeding over from the metaverse to her. Okay, that would also be consistent with some of the ideas we'd had about the metaverse yeah. before. Like, you know, whether whether it's the person that causes the supernatural yeah, effect or yeah. the supernatural effect that causes the person. Mm -hmm. And I've been of the opinion that it's the supernatural effect of having a palace, yeah. which is not normal, right. that, that causes effects like this to happen and has caused basically the whole game. So if that, that's the case, this would be like a, an example of, of that metaverse causing bleed uh, causing over. the bleed over yeah. and like these these effects sort of mm, I, I mean it's also possible that one of the ways she or one of the reasons she hides herself around is she's afraid she'll hurt someone else perhaps yeah child. you killed her you're a police with that murderer. why don't you say you're something you're the one who killed her that's right i killed mom i don't deserve to be alive so it's like She's going to be hit with everything that happens in the palace, which I is also so. different. This place is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right. Die! Don't come near me! Don't just stand there and say something! It's your fault! No! Something help me! That's important. That's important. Man, to be... Damn it! 
What the hell? To be confronted so directly with like a manifestation of your self loathing, mm -hmm. how can you. In, in order for that to happen, you'd have to believe it so strongly in the first place. How can you ever resist something like that? Like your your own deep seated, deep rooted hatred of yourself? Yeah. This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should regroup and. And run. We should run. What now? Man, it is a boulder! <laughs> I'm gonna see the boulder! Run! Da 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 da! Da da da! I, I like the. The uh, ridiculous run animations? Well, not only that, but like the text, like the emoji sort of. Or not the emoji, but like the ASCII uh, symbols on it from like typing. Oh, I, I didn't even see that. I was looking at the thieves and their ridiculous run. We're safe. That was too close. Now what? Even if we wanted to ask Futaba what's going on, it seems the door is shut. What should we do? We'll need to talk to her in the real world. We Poss have to get her to open up. I think our best option is retreating for now. I think you're right. This won't be as simple as we expected. Why don't we prepare a little more, then come back? Well, that is, in fact, what we were thinking. Okay. Then let's retreat for now and return to the palace another day. The date that Medjid is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. So if this is going to be more of a traditional palace, does that mean that that 821 is the date for this? Or, I guess so. Or are we going to have something we can do about Medjed other than other than Futaba ninja hacking them with her awesome skills to show how cool she is as her debut? Which, I mean, that that's totally acceptable, but... It's also possible that she, rescuing her, might... She'll do something to extend the deadline? That could happen, I, I suppose. Well, we... Uh -huh. Again, we don't know anything about Medjed at all. Neither does anybody else. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Because we ain't pro wrestlers! <laughs> they carry out their cyber terrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. That's all it is, huh? So Futaba's gonna be able to solve it all by herself? With her ninja elite hacking skills. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. So it's about as long as last time. Yeah. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Might be, <laughs> might be kind of weird if there's customers, huh? Uh, they can they can just meet up in Jiro's room. That makes sense. Yeah, that works. I mean, it's definitely convenient for me. <laughs> Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout then? Nothing wrong with that. We must take care not to be discovered by boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. Well, there's no reason for you to hide from Sojiro. He'll just think you're hanging out with Jiro. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. <laughs> now it's gonna be the fun part of the vacation. Right. Instead of work. But that's what the thieves are to Ryuji, which is why he runs around screaming out our existence to every random stranger. <gasps> so, you know, people like Akechi can more easily find us. <laughs> We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. That, that, that is pretty cool. Yeah, I can't I, I can't lie about that. <laughs> <laughs> pretty awesome. <laughs> This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perp. <laughs> She's actually <laughs> bringing it up. Yeah. Shut up. It was a great view. <laughs> She even, I mean, she smacked him, sure, but she's not concerned about the other two. Yeah. Just Muji. Yeah. Too, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. That's what I'm talking about, a golden ratio, you know what I'm talking about, you? <laughs> <laughs> and see, this is how this is how you Yusuke will uh, will uh, emerge unscathed. <laughs> yeah. That ain't what I'm talking about. Dude, let him take his out. <laughs> I wasn't staring, Lady On. You were the car. Gentlemen, after all. You wanted to stare more than anybody. It's not 
that you weren't, but that you couldn't <laughs> since you were transformed. Am I right? At least, at least she's noticed. I mean, you know, in the incident before where everyone had to look up her skirt while she was laying down, Morgana was uh, the first. Yeah. <laughs> Will we be all right like this? That's uh, fine. A little in bickering is understandable between friends. In bickering? In fighting? Hmm? Not again. Um. Oh, that's her mother. Yeah, of course. Oh my God, she's basically being haunted. <laughs> oh no! Mom. Jesus. Well, that sucked. Yeah, sure did, but it's about how our first trips into palaces usually go. At least, we don't get very far is all I mean by that. Is doing this really gonna help us do something about Manjad? Do they truly intend to follow through on their threat? It'd be a shame if our efforts were a waste. Look, this is just a new change of heart, okay guys? Come on! Medjet will definitely make a move! Surprise, bitches! <laughs> Alibaba! I'm checking in on your progress. How much longer will it take? Well, I want to say something like, It wouldn't take us so long if you just calm your shit down, <laughs> but... Uh, clearly, you can't really do that, so... Your heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba! Can you really do something about Medjet? Of course! Unfortunately, we have next to no evidence to support that. Your work will be rewarded, I promise. Besides, you have no other option, do you? I suppose that's true. Can you do stuff like take down a server? Show us! Hey, don't start any trouble. That's all it would take to convince you? Alright, I ask that you take care of this quickly. Boom, server's down. <laughs> Until then, I mean, um, wait, are you ditching us again? This is troubling, but we need to do what we can at the moment. I have concern for Futaba herself during all this. Man, why'd this have to be during summer vacation? Dude, did you just seriously <laughs> 180 completely on this? <laughs> we don't have any other choice. Judo-kun, as always, we'll leave it to you to call us together. The sight of her palace bothers me too. We have to do this. How are we gonna handle this? Ah, oh, here he goes! Hey, listen up, this is horrible! The fan site is gone! Oh god! I try to access a URL, but it says that page doesn't exist! The fruit of my labor has completely disappeared! Oh, do you think it's because of Medjad? No, genius! Of course it's freaking Medj. Wait. Yes! They're, they're declaring war on the thieves. Oh, I'm just wondering why Alibaba was an answer. Is this supposed to be some kind of penalty for cheering for the Phantom Thieves? But wait, they're totally jumping the gun! There's still time until the cleanse! Now, you know, at first they said that they were just going to, like, dox everyone who was a supporter. Yeah. So, I mean, this just seems like a quote-unquote fair game. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, something came up. Oh, it is Alibaba. Okay. Is this proof enough for you? What's that supposed to mean? D do you think it's a virus? I'm gonna click on the extension. Oh, <laughs> oh I, I remember something about... Get the actor, get the actor, get the actor, get the actor. <laughs> Calm down. We're, we're fine at this point. <laughs> uh, looks like everything's back to normal. Sorry for making a fuss about all this. You know, maybe I should have specified which server I wanted taken down. Sorry! I'm gonna try to look into it a little more, though. Uh, see ya! <laughs> Was that Alibaba proving what she said earlier? Talk about a crazy thing to pull off. Prove your justice to society! Alright. Well, we have quite some time, and so now it's time to figure out exactly how we're going to approach all this. And, uh, I think that's enough for now. We'll figure it out next time, and we're gonna rush this palace, I'm sure. Oh, yeah.